going. Hi, welcome back. <laughs> okay, I want to actually stop this on the uh, the live stream as well. So hold on, let's stop that. Bye, live streamers. <laughs> Okay, I had to make sure I stopped the live stream as well. That's all they get. They have to get on the Zoom if they want to be a part of the actual training. Um, great job tonight. Again, what you saw, for those of you that are already ambassadors, was an actual master class in pushing through when you have a lot of distractions. And, and the hardest distraction to ever like work through is the one with your kids. Everything else you can kind of blow off, but your kids, because you're a mom and they need you and you want to be there for So that was an absolute masterclass in pushing through. So again, Katie, like kudos, you did an amazing, amazing job. I'm so proud of you. Um, I have a couple of things tonight and I think we're doing something like, I think Natalie's coming on and they're doing a giveaway. And where are you, Natalie? Let me see you. Are you wanting to do it now at the end of this call? Were we supposed to do it at the end of the other call? I'm sorry if I'm out of the loop. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, perfect. So no, just wanted to let those that were on, if you're on and you're new, we are getting together the names. So stick around till the end because we'll be doing the giveaway at the end, but also want to let you know, um, just as a reminder, if you have checked out everything and you are excited about getting started here, uh, we wanted to, you to know that as a gift, um, we are going to have a special getting started Zoom for you on Monday with Molly Trotter, um, our co-founder. And so we, the person that has invited you will be able to give you that exclusive Zoom invite. Um, you're going to love it. She's going to be going over, uh, obviously, how to get started, but also just vision casting um, and really just planting that seed and helping you to really get going off on the right foot and getting engaged here. So we're excited to be able to offer that for you and that she's going to dedicate some time for all of our new members and or ambassadors. So um, definitely excited about that. So thank you, Molly. And then, yes, we will do the drawing right at the very end before we hop off. Awesome. That was amazing. What an amazing team. Let me tell you something about this team here. And I don't, don't just mean Ferris and Molly, myself, Thais, when she's around, you know, the reason you guys don't see Thais is she's like at events doing PR nonstop. So she's like, oh, I'm at the Italian embassy tonight. And I'm at this, like, I'm going to a Grammy thing. I'm like, Thais, take us with you. We want to go to these things with you. But that, but I will tell you about not just our internal team, but then the team, the Girl Power Alliance team of ambassadors. Everybody here is so unbelievably willing to help everybody else. It is a culture like nothing I've ever seen in any network marketing company that I've ever been a part of. And you hear people talk about it. Oh yeah, we're just one team, but they don't really live it. And so we live out this mantra that we say all the time that there's no competition in the kingdom. And I have never seen more women so excited for other women that are making things happen in their business, even if theirs isn't moving as fast. It is a beautiful incredible thing that I just like want to protect. And I hope that you guys will help continue to grow this culture. This needs to be embedded in who you are as leaders and who we are as a company, because this, this, the truth of this, the truth of the real no competition in the kingdom will, will bleed out far beyond just girl power Alliance. It will roll into every other area of each of your lives, which will impact people way outside of girl power Alliance. So I'm just very, very excited and so proud of the women that are being um, called here and the way that you guys are are engaging together it's ridiculously inspiring so I just want to tell you guys that yes it is starting to spread like a wildfire it's so true I mean I feel like I open up my social media and I see people doing a zoom call or a Facebook live they're not even connected on a team like like a real team like they're connected in their in the genealogy and they're like working together how amazing is that it is beyond amazing. And I will tell you that that heart to serve, like God always sees it and he blesses it. And I believe that that heart of service to serve other people and work together, like I believe he exponentially blesses it. So I just had to say that. Okay. I have a couple of things for you and then we'll bring Natalie on. I'm going to go fast because I literally only have a few minutes. So I'm going to give you um, like rapid fire stuff. And those of you that are in the 60 day sprint, you, some of this is going to be a little bit on repeat, but um, it never, you can never hear this too often. You need to learn and train yourself to fail forward fast. You have to fail forward as fast as you possibly can, because the bottom line is nobody starts off amazing. 
especially when you're doing something new. You want to fail forward as fast as you possible. And don't be afraid of it. The word fail freaks people out, but it is a part of the journey. And failure to me, I know I've told you this before, but it doesn't mean anything bad. It was like, okay, that didn't work. Think Thomas Edison and the light bulb. Almost 2,000 times he tried before he got the actual light bulb. If he had stopped at 100 or 200 or 1,500 or 1,600, somebody else would have invented the, the light bulb. He never let it slow him down. It's just like, okay, this didn't work or it didn't work this way, or I need to adjust, right? It's adjusting the sales constantly. So the only way for you to actually learn those lessons that you need to learn is to fail forward as fast as possible. Okay, uh, the next thing tonight, be open and willing and eager to learn. Be open, willing, and eager to learn. Oftentimes when you come into, I'm just gonna use network marketing and, and Girl Power Alliance. When you come into this company, if you have been in another network marketing company before, you have brought with you many things that you were taught. I would ask you to come here as a student first. Um, and anybody that's read my book knows that uh, I share a story in there of Bobby and I going to uh, the, the last company that we were with and we, and it was on the heels of us owning a company. That's a whole nother story. You have to read the book. I'm not going to share it here, but we owned a company and then we went back to being distributors and we, we certainly knew how to build a team. But when we started with that company, we actually submitted ourselves to the way they were doing it, the system they had and the leadership that was going on there. So I truly believe that you need to learn all the rules before you can go and make them your own. You have to learn the rules for where for the new thing that you're doing in the new way. And I'm telling you that for a lot of reasons here. Number one, I really want to have a different culture than what's going on in other companies in the profession. And the only way we can do that is by coming in here and adopting our culture, not coming in here and bringing the culture of the company that you were with before. So that's something. So be open, willing, and even eager to learn. Our simple little system, engage, promote, repeat. Does it seem too simple? That's because it is. And that's as easy as it really is here. It's that easy to build here. It's a digital product. You don't have to sample anything for anybody. We have a three-day trial that people can check out some of the content and see it for themselves. How easy is it to say, hey, here, just if you're interested in what it is, you can check out some free content for three days. This is just a snippet, right? This is not a full course. This isn't even what it actually looks like, but you're getting a taste of the content. If it resonates with you, then let's get you signed up. It's that easy. It is literally, but like we work to complicate it. It is actually very, very easy. So be eager, willing, um, and ready to learn. And I want to say this to you. Do you ever, have you ever known anybody that was an actual genius? I have. My dad is an actual, like a legitimate on paper genius. I might be too, but we're not sure. I am in my own mind. Okay. But let me tell you something, the truth about genius. Genius is not genetic. It is about study, habits, and obsession. That's where real genius comes in. If any of you have ever read the story of Steve Jobs, he was kind of a jerk. Like he was rude. He demanded a lot of people. He was hard people that, but guess what? Everybody wanted to be around him. Why? Because he was obsessed. And his obsession literally changed the culture of the world. It wasn't just in the United States. It started with the, it's, well, it started with a lot, of the, a lot of different things that he did, but really it was the iPod that shifted everything that became the iPhone and was really the catalyst for the digital world. And so he was obsessed. Now I'm not telling you guys to be obsessed and don't take care of your family or children, but, but I will tell you, like I am personally obsessed with helping women grow for real. I think about it all day, every day. How can we help women grow? And it's like in me that I can't take it out. Doesn't mean I don't do all the things that I need to do, but is that deep burning desire in you. So if those, if any of you were on our ma leadership mastermind call last night, Deanna did a remarkable job at talking about like staying in your, who you are in your lane, allowing your creativity to really come through. And, and I think part of that is like, get obsessed with who you are. Don't try to be anybody else. Be obsessed with the skills and the talents and the quirks and the weird things about you, right? So genius then is about study, habits, and obsession. Now, once you learn the rules, once you've engaged and the culture is really in you and you know how we do things here, then go make your own rules. 
go make your own rules. Listen, I'm an entrepreneur. I don't like to be in a box. I like the freedom to be myself and to change my mind. That's one of the things that we're doing so different here. We're not putting the same restrictions on the ambassadors that so many other companies do. Because we, first of all, I don't want to, we don't own you, it's not the thing. But like, go make your rules. We talk a lot in this profession about duplication. Duplicate this, you have to duplicate your successful upline, duplicate this and that. And while there is truth and power to duplicating a system that works, don't try to be anybody but you. Don't try to talk about things that aren't authentic to you. Don't try to fit yourself into the marketing box that somebody told you is the marketing box that works. It won't work if it's not authentic for you. So go out and make your own rules. This is your life. God created you. And I always talk about like this, you know, our, our fingerprints, you know, in the whole world before you and after you hundreds and hundreds of generations, there has never been another one of these and there never will be in the world for all eternity. Does that make you feel like special? It makes me feel almost weirdly like iconic. <laughs> this is mine and no one will ever have it ever in the whole world. I feel like we should like put it in a, you know, make a mold of it because it's the only one that will ever exist in all humanity. But that I believe is something that we need to take really um, seriously and realize that God gave us that as like a little uh, breadcrumb. We're supposed to be ourselves. We're supposed to be ourselves. We are God's most expensive purchase. Absolutely. And you're unique and you have weird things about you. Like celebrate the weird things. Your weird thing could become such a niche if you started to get loud about it that you could build a crazy, crazy, amazing following on one of the platforms because you just decided to stand in exactly who you are with courage, like, and just be you. And I guarantee you, there's somebody out there that really digs those weird little things about you. So it's, I, I want to encourage you guys to follow the system that we put in place because it's really simple, but make up your own rules. Like you, you're going to hear a lot of trainings, especially when it comes to like social media marketing and digital marketing. Like you need to do it this, you need to post this many times. You need to, here's the time of day, all these things. And they're, I'm not saying those things aren't true. People get paid a lot of money in the digital economy and in the creator economy to know those things, to help companies grow. But I'm telling you as a human being, like the truth of the matter is it kind of doesn't matter <laughs> because when you are in like the slipstream of where God has you, the rules are not, don't apply. <laughs> like you're in the kingdom rules. So I just want to encourage you to just be yourself. And I'm, those of you, I posted in the group today, it's in the other room, uh, the book, The Dream Giver. How many of you have read the book, The Dream Giver? If you've read it, say me in the, in the comments, I want to see it. It's by Bruce Wilkinson. I used to read it every year. And then when COVID happened, I didn't read, I didn't read it for like three, almost three years. And I picked it up again today. I, I read half of it. I drove in Orange County traffic. So I had a lot of time. So I read half the book in traffic today. And I was, I remember why I read it every year. It, I want you to all read it. What if you don't want to be online? Can your membership help me work in real life? Absolutely, because it's personal development. So much personal development. It's not just for women in business. It's for building your faith. It's for relationships, health and wellness. There's so many things. We happen to have a lot of women in marketplace ministry, but personal and professional development is doing exactly that. It's helping you to develop. Um, I can't tell you how many women have gone through, let's just take, for example, Radiant Leadership Academy, and they tell me their marriages have changed dramatically. We don't even talk about marriage. <laughs> we Literally, there's no section in there that talks about marriage, but the marriages are changing because when you really start to transform your life and to lean into your faith, then amazing, amazing things happen. Yes, get it on Audible, Karen. You guys, I want to challenge all of you. One of these days when after we're like done with pre-lunch and we feel like we're not running around with our hair on fire. We'll do a book club, but I want to suggest to you right now that you all go get that book and dream and, and read it. The dream giver. I literally was bawling in the car, remembering so many things about this book that so many truths. Um, and because I really, really want you to get back to this thing inside of you that God created you for. Yes, we do need branded tissues. I am a hundred percent on board with lemon. 
We need to just start our own tissue company. There's a lot of happy tears here. It's amazing. Um, so those are the things that I have for you tonight. This is our last week in the summer splash. Um, next month, beginning in August, you're going to start to see these meetings on Thursday night be done solely by the ambassadors. So if you're wanting to get in the um, on the calendar, um, then let us know and feel free that you have the you. I want to give you all permission. You all have permission starting now. If you want to take the slides and go do a presentation at any given moment with other women that are in the that are ambassadors, you have permission to go do it. You can start at any time. And you can just go be bold and do these presentations. Even if one person shows up or nobody shows up, I want to encourage you to do that. You will grow. Those of you that did it over the last week, type in the chat if you grew by doing a presentation. Even if nobody showed up, type in there. If you went and did a presentation and you were terrified or you were excited, whatever, did you feel like you grew when you did it? Nobody ever grows more than the trainer or the teacher, ever. It is a remarkable step to take in your own personal development. So um, that's all I have. Natalie, you're up. All right. So we're going to have two names drawn. And then if you are the person drawn, get to the ambassador that invited you so they can then get to me. And then we will, you'll need to send them your address so that we can mail you um, your gift. So thank you for being on with us and for taking a look at what we have. And we would love to, you know, have you be a part of this community, um, whether it be in the membership or as an ambassador as well. And would love to help you to be able to be on the call with Molly on Monday, but thank you so much for, for hopping on with us and start to hear background noise, but I'm going to go ahead and spin. We ha I have a wheel here. So let me make sure if you're on and I missed your name, but I have Angeline, Victoria, Tara, Lindsay, Janet, Barbara, Danielle, and Jessica. So if I missed you, you can quickly type that, but I'm going to go ahead and spin the first name. It says screen sharing. I'll just tell you guys what it says. All right, we have Janet, which I just um, commented back to. You guys hear the clapping in the background? I don't know, <laughs> it's clapping on my computer. So congratulations, Janet. So let us know who invited you and then um, get with them so we can get your information. And then, all right. And then we have, it looks like Carmel, Ooh, go back. I'll add Carmela here. All right, and then, so you will be winning some, let's see, oh, here's the next one. Lindsay, Lindsay Walker, I think is the second one. So congratulations. I know one of you will have the Rise to Your Purpose devotional and then um, the other one is going to be coming from GPA um, as, as well. So that'll be, we will let you know what that ends up being. <laughs> I didn't see the message of what it's going to be actually, you guys. So, but it's going to be something really, really good. Um, whether it's a book or um, one of Michelle's book, maybe, or some GPA swag. Um, so we'll make sure to let you know. And then also our Rise to Your Purpose devotional that my sister and I wrote um, that a lot of women are loving having. So we're excited to be able to get that to you. So congratulations, ladies. Oh, awesome. Christina, by you. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Um, Michelle, anything else you want to share before we hop off? Um, I wanted to know, Molly, do you want to share what the, what the prize is from GPA? If Molly's still here, come down here, Molly. I'm here. Uh, yes. I was actually just typing in the chat and I wasn't typing fast enough. So yes, the prize is we have, I, I, I knew I should have brought visuals too. Something is like, go get some visuals, but a t-shirt, one of Michelle's amazing books, um, the residual life. And then one of our jean jackets, which I know the women absolutely love. So that is like a power packed gift. So all the swag that we have so far, the branded tissues coming soon. That literally cracks me up, but it's so good. <laughs> that just means the Holy spirit just moves all the time. But again, a t-shirt, uh, one of Michelle's books, you're absolutely going to love it. And then one of our jean jackets, just to reiterate that. So woohoo! super exciting. Um, thank you guys. Awesome. All right. Well, we can't wait to get that for you ladies. Um, and welcome if you end up joining Well, so, but um, thank you. And anything else, Michelle? No, that's it. Thank you girls for coming. We have still a couple weeks left in Wait a minute. I guess we're only halfway through July. It feels like it's the month is almost over for me. Um, but for those that don't know, I'll be traveling to Brazil. Please pray for me. I'm traveling to Brazil on the 24th. 
um, to do an event. And um, so I'm hoping that it's only a four hour time difference. I'm hoping that I'll still be able to be here and get on all the things that I don't know. So pray for that. And I just want to say thank you to all of you for being here, being here with us. Thank you for all the things that you're doing on social media. It's amazing. If you have a testimonial, please reach out to Molly Ferris or me and share it with us. We want to share your testimonial. If it's a testimonial just about being in the group, what God has done, if it's because of a course, if it's because of Radiant Leadership, one of our, uh, our mastermind calls or anything that happens, our prayer calls on Monday. If you have a testimonial, we want it. We want it. I want to do a Zoom with ladies. <laughs> I don't know if I know what that means, Ferris. <laughs> um yes molly i love that sorry molly. i wanted sorry i just i know i was typing really fast and like the you? husband called i wanted to do i'm gonna schedule um like have a schedule link so i can set up zooms with ladies so i can take your testimonials thank you thank you for saying that yes she's gonna actually like walk you through it so you can have an amazing testimonial so that we can feature it and we're going to feature it all over. We're going to feature it on social media. We're going to feature it on YouTube. So if you want to be one of our featured testimonials, please connect with Ferris and she's going to do like a really, really amazing job. And you're all amazing. I thank you. And I love you. And we're praying for you. And if you guys need something, you know how to reach us. So I just want to say, be bold, be daring, go for it. Um, get out there and share this because it matters. What we're doing matters. It's about so much more than you even realize when you bring women into this community and lemon will bring the tissues. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Have an amazing rest of your week. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye.